What do you see when you look over here? I found steps. that impressive. I took a picture of that. Yeah. The actual steps with everyone lining up there. I actually, I was down farther and I ran around here just to see it. Uh, I was impressed by that. Very cool. And it's, uh, you know, to you, uh, what does it mean, I guess, to be here among all these people? Do you feel the support? Do you feel like... Oh, yeah. It's a great crowd of people. It's a great group of people. You could, you go to these different competitions and all your stuff, you'll meet great people. Nicest people I ever met are in gun shows. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. No, <laughs> oh, no problem. This and that. Um, you know, great group of people, normally very friendly and everything. Um, and big mix. I mean, I met guys from Georgia here today. Yeah, we saw uh, Georgia, people. New Jersey, all kinds of different places that moved up in here. And, um, you know, I guess so, questions are, you know, misconceptions that you think need to be right. I think I asked you, but. They, they go I, on different things. They go, you know, oh, you don't need more than this many rounds. Right, right now they're trying to go down to 10 rounds. Yeah. Well, we're not trying to take, we're not this 10 rounds is safe number. Well, New York went to seven rounds. Why seven or 10? Why is 10 to safe number? You had a ruling in California where a judge ruled and look, put all these different cases where it's like, hey, these people need it more than your 10 rounds, you're saying. It comes back to another one. Um, this question we had in Maryland when they tried to pull this in the past. 10 rounds, um, they were like, oh, well, you can keep, we can keep ours if we had them and stuff. But they're like, oh, well, the policeman, when he goes home, he can have more than 10 rounds. And it's like, wait, you're in the same house, your house is just like I'm in a house. You're no longer an officer, active duty. Well, he can keep his 15 round extra large capacity magazine but a civilian no 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 if someone breaks in your house you have to use 10 but that cop has to use 15 and it's like wait if, if it's if it's not safe for a civilian then why is the cop allowed to take it home he's no longer acting as a cop so they, they talk two different sides because and the people who are talking on that were serving at the governor's privilege so when they're going to stand up there and they were doing their hearing they had the governor's emergency have their position based on him allowing them to have that position and uh you know Going forward, do you feel like uh, it seems to me that what is it? Look, gradual. Keep it going down. Yes. Okay. You don't come out and like Beto did and say we're taking everything away, or Northam who originally say. You say no, no, we want you to lose this. Oh no, no, we want to register. That way we know where they're at. You know, mm -hmm. we just want to know where they're at because you know we're not going to do anything, even though we've already said we want to take. It. Have you ever been this politically? active in your life or is this something no this not mostly i've gone to more of this kind of stuff because of this okay the slope um more political yes but that's all recent yes As more more or less recent with, they've been pushing more and more bans through states and uh you know going forward uh, how long are you gonna be here today uh at least at least until the rally goes up i want to make sure at least the numbers are good and then i'll start humping it back and drive back to maryland yeah what a day to spend here, your day off, a cold, frigid day. You're down here in Richmond. What does that say about it's your... Ridi it's ridiculous. I actually, because of Northam stroking everything here, I actually have a note at my house in a letter that says, if I do not return ever, and I wrote down my passwords for my wife, because he stoked this to try and get violence to show up. So if there's an actual envelope sitting on my end table that says, if I never return, open this. And it's because I had to come down here to defend myself and my, my actual rights, and Northrop wants something to go bad. So literally, sitting right there, sealed envelope with my password, says, if I don't return, open. Which is ridiculous for someone to actually have to go somewhere and actually leave a note like that because someone's pushing an agenda. Well, thank you for talking to us. I appreciate it, man. No problem. Have a safe trip back up to Montgomery. Have fun, buddy. Yeah, right.